Hi, this is uh, an antique Limoges enamel triptych which will be used as a devotional travelling altar. It's in a carved oak gothic frame. It's quite an interesting story how I purchased this. Um, it was at a local auction and um, I left some bids on it because I did really much think it was so fine. And uh, I didn't buy it and I was very disappointed. And then six months later, I saw it at an antiques market and I was able to purchase it there cheaper than I left my bid at the auction, which is most extraordinary. Makes you wonder what happened in the in between months. But uh, anyway, I just was so pleased to buy it. And I recognised it because it had two little bits of damage in the corners, as you can see there. So I knew it was the same one. But the, the detail and the colour is just so fine. You can see the blood on Christ still and the little man in the moon with skull and crossbones. I love religious pieces of work, especially early pieces. And there we got, uh, looks like a queen with a sword. Still got a gilded crown. And then there's a little round old guy in the, in the top there. You can see it's quite attractive, just overall lovely colours. And then we've got uh, this guy who looks like a scholar. And we got another roundel in the corner. The finial probably was a cross, but I think it's uh, lost its edges over the years on either side. It's a lovely carved oak frame. As you turn it around here, See, it's got some early hinges and what look like uh, hand cut screws. But I love the fact that as it was stained glass windows, the colour doesn't change over the centuries. It's as bright now as the guy that made it. Um, and sometimes antiques make their way to you and it's meant to be. So you never know in life. <laughs> It's one of the strange things that happened in the antique business. I thought you might like it, and I hope you admire it as much as I do. Anyway, I uh, subscribe if you like the video, and thanks for watching. Okay, bye.